Hello, I'm Tanya. And I'm David. And we are out side by side. Today we wanted to share with you some modifications that we've made to our travel trailer to make our camping experience more enjoyable. Thank you for watching. One of the first things that we upgraded was our tongue jack. When we first bought the trailer, it had the crank. And when you have a weight distribution hitch and you need to hook up the bars, this is uh, much better. It's electric, it hooks up to the battery. I think it cost about $130. Uh, it has a light, also has a light to help you light up your hitch at night. Another thing we got was the cover for it because it's electric, you wanna make sure that you keep it out of the sun and keep it dry when you're not using the trailer. We also got this little caddy right here where we can hook the chains. It keeps them off the ground and keeps them out of the mud. It also kind of keeps them out of the way. There's also a place to hook your cable. So that was another thing that's worked out nicely. Another thing that we added to this trailer, our trailer only came with one 20 pound propane tank. So we added the dual propane tanks. Also, we got this plastic cover to put over it. it off. And uh, basically what it was, was the, the dual propane bracket. It just simply bolts down to the trailer and it, it holds the, uh, the tanks just like other trailers that have dual tanks. Another thing we purchased was the LED puck lights. They are USB rechargeable, they're wireless. Uh, our storage bins did not come with lights, so we purchased these, they're magnetic. And what you can do is you can just put these into your bins and because they have motion sensors, they'll come on when they detect motion in your storage. So you can just put your magnet wherever you want and voila, you have lights. And these can be used in closets. They can be used anywhere. So this is our hitch caddy. It's basically a, uh, a receiver hitch mount that we bolted to the frame. So the reason that I, I did this was to reduce the uh, space taken up in our storage compartments. Uh, you can see the video on this. I'll leave the link up in the description. Also, this mod cost us about $40. Most travel trailers come pre-wired for the Furion backup camera. It basically just means that they put the bracket up there and it's pre-wired to where if you buy the camera, uh, it's easy to install. So of course we got ours. Uh, this thing is, has been really great. Not only does it help you when you're backing up the trailer into your campsite at night, but it also helps you when you're driving, you can see the cars behind you on the highway at all times and it's wireless. Uh, it's a Bluetooth connection to the monitor that's inside the truck. Uh, so that's been a great mod. Uh, it's one of my favorites actually. You can see how this really makes it easy when, you, when you're backing into your campsite. purchased the Camco, this is the 28 gallon waste holding tank. We also purchased this on Amazon. Uh, this is a game changer guys, because you don't have to break everything down, hook up, go to the dump station and come right back. Uh, we got the large one. Uh, we have a 40 gallon uh, gray and black tank. Um, we never have any problems with the black tank. It's always the gray. The cool thing about this is it has a hook that you can hook to your trailer hitch, heavy duty tires, and you can just haul it over there uh, on the back of your truck or car and dump and then bring it back. So it's a time saver for sure. Another feature that we added to our travel trailer was an outdoor shower. As you can see right uh, right here, you can open this up 
It comes with your uh, standard hose. It has a quick connect. Uh, hot and cold water, which is nice. Basically what I had to do here was cut a hole in the back of the trailer and I ran two water lines to the closest hot and cold, which happened to be our bathroom over there and teed off into those. The reason I put it here is because we have a, a outdoor kitchen and to me it's more convenient than having it over here on this side of the trailer than on the other side of the trailer where it is on others. Another thing that we added to our trailer were these Max Air vent covers. They enable to, you to open your vents without getting rain inside if it's raining. Uh, they also protect your, your vents from the UV, which can cause them to crack and break over time. One of the things that is probably my favorite is the Blackstone Griddle. We purchased this again on Amazon and this was another game changer for us. We have a very small stove top in our camper. We didn't choose for a big option as far as cooking because we do most of our cooking outside. We were doing fire pit cooking a lot, but when we got the Blackstone griddle, it really helped us to cook our meal all at once. It hooks up to your propane, so it gives you the option for cooking outside with propane. It does fold up and we're able to store all of this in our uh, storage compartment. We did purchase a cover for it. We haven't used it yet. We haven't really had a need to, but if you're storing it in a place that you want uh, coverage, this is an option too. Another thing that we upgraded on our trailer was the tires. Uh, the tires that came with it from the dealer were a brand that I wasn't really familiar with or comfortable with so we decided to upgrade to these and uh, they've been great so far another thing that we added was the uh, tire pressure monitoring system basically what it is are these sensors that screw onto the stems and uh, it comes with this monitor that's wireless it's also solar uh, and you can just lay it on your dashboard and uh, we have a video on this we'll leave it in our description the video is called why you need a tire pressure monitoring system and this is the one that we use we'll leave a link below in the description as you can see our bathroom is very small there's minimal space in here so we wanted to utilize our space as best as possible uh, the first thing that we purchased was uh, these wall caddy organizers. We bought them on Amazon. We're going to put the link below to everything that we've purchased. It comes with six uh, bins, but what we did is we cut them in half uh, so that way we got three over the uh, sink and then we got three uh, over the toilet and then we also purchased another set for the bunks so that way whoever was sleeping in the bunk had storage space as well. But these have been really great for us and the reason we wanted to point these out is we've had a lot of people ask questions about these and where did we get them, how much were they, uh, so we thought it was a really good affordable modification. They're very sturdy, we use them for towels, we use them for all of our toiletries and we haven't had any problems uh, with them yet so we wanted to point these out as well. The second modification we wanted to show you is our Oxygenix shower head. The shower head that came with the trailer wasn't giving us any pressure whatsoever. Uh, we did our research on the shower heads, the best shower head to purchase, and this one, it induces air into the water, so uh, it reduces your water consumption in the shower and then also in your gray tank as well. We purchased it on Amazon and it was under 50 bucks. Third in the shower mods is our retractable clothesline. This is probably one of my favorite investments that we've made because it makes life so much easier. You can put towel racks all over your camper, but they take up space. And as you can see, if you just use the command hooks and you get out of the shower, uh, your towel is not gonna dry. And if we put a towel rack, that would take up the entire space. So the retractable clothesline 
helped us with space and you just pull it out. You hook it on the other end. It comes with the hooks and then you just tighten it and now you have a clothesline in your shower. You can take your towel. We just purchased the dollar store clothespins and you can hang your towels accordingly. And that way, uh, your towels will dry, your washcloths will dry, your clothes will dry. So to retract it, you just unhook it and you unlock your knob and it'll retract for you. And last but not least, we purchased the command shelf and the washcloth holder. Uh, these were just very inexpensive ways to store our body wash and shampoo. Uh, as you know, because they're command, you can just um, hook them on, but David secured them with screws so that way they don't fall off. Very well worth the money. We also wanted to show you the backsplash. Ours came with a very plain uh, backsplash. We weren't really happy with it. I mean, it wasn't a make or break deal. But we found these on Amazon, and uh, they've kind of worked. They keep coming off because the heat. Um, we haven't figured out a 100% method to keep these on. But uh, right now, they're working for us. But these we also purchased on Amazon. They're a great way to... Um, give you better decor if your travel trailer doesn't come with the backsplash that you're happy with. Another one that we did that uh, has made life a lot easier is we moved our tongue jack back. Uh, the reason that we did that is because before we couldn't open our tailgate and so basically we added this plate right here and moved the jack back about I don't know four or five inches and uh, as you can see now, uh, we're able to open our tailgate and get into the back of our truck uh, when we need to load or unload while we have the trailer hooked up. Refer back to this video that we did on how to keep your tailgate from hitting your tongue jack. Are there any modifications that you've made to your travel trailer that you would like to share with us? We are always curious to hear what you have to say. We appreciate your comments and we always thank you for engaging with us. If you like videos like these, hit the like button and don't forget to share with anybody who is enjoying the travel trailer life. Thank you for watching. Bye.